right? And so as you look at this, the first thing is this, right? We're coming, we are unimpeded. Again, whether we are blitzing and, and they didn't pick us up or we are, are beating somebody at the line of scrimmage clean and getting through, we're going to run as soon as the quarterback's hand comes off the ball. When the quarterback's hand comes off the ball, our left hand is going to go up, right? That left hand's going to go up. That's what's going to create the ball disruption. Now, at this point, we got to make sure that we eye the football and near our hand to the football to get the knockdown, right? Same thing. We'll continue to work this all the way through, get everyone some reps out. All right. And so then again, like whether this ultimately impacts things or not, you're talking about fraction of inches, right? And so we're coming on a pressure, right? Here's a, a RPO throw, right? We want to mirror the hand. Even if that mirror hand doesn't truly knock the pass down, doesn't truly deflect the ball, but just alters the launch point just enough that the wide receiver has to stop to catch it, has to not be able to hit this thing running downhill. Like we just want them throwing around moving targets to make the, the launch point of these RPOs harder to deliver, right? We want okay, then the next piece of this is the sprint out or the rollout or the breaking the pocket, okay? Anytime the quarterback breaks pocket, the mirror hand becomes the outside hand. So if the quarterback is rolling to my right, my mirror hand becomes my right hand. If the quarterback is rolling to my left, my mirror hand becomes my left, right? Same thought process. Just now, everything is trying to stop the ball from being thrown to the outside, right? We want to emphasize continuing to run. That's a big piece of it. If we can continue to run, okay, we can get the, to the quarterback if he doesn't throw it, right? Same thing here, quarterback to my left, free mirror with my left, right? Simple drills to create the emphasis, right? Then it shows up in the game, and this is a good look in both ways, right? Quarterback breaks out, so we're coming after the quarterback, quarterback's looking to get rid of the football, right? So his hand comes off. So we do a great job here mirroring with our left. It's a lefty quarterback. Doesn't matter because he's broken the pocket. So we're going to mirror with our outside hand. That left hand does enough, right, to just get in his way and not make him feel comfortable about trying to force one in to one of these. He winds up eating the ball. He winds up taking a sack. 